Hey, what's happening everyone? Welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the best filming settings for the new GoPro Hero 12 and do a full setup walkthrough all the way from taking it out of the box to actually going out and filming. I'll be going over all of the settings that you need to know whether you are a pro or this is your very first GoPro and you're trying to learn how to use it. Typically on my channel, I cover mostly FPV drones. So if you're someone who's looking to get the best FPV settings and you kind of already know the basics, go to this time code in the video and you can skip right to it. But before I get there, I'm gonna be covering the whole setup process and go over the best general settings and just break it down super simply. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, cool. So when you first get it out of the box, here's what you have. So you're just gonna to wanna to turn it on with this side button and you'll get the little GoPro logo. And then it's gonna ask you for the best language. You're gonna go English, French, or whatever you want to do. Turn on voice control, just confirm the language. You don't actually have to turn it on, but I like to use it. Um, and then from here, you're basically just going to want to install the GoPro Quick app, and then you just connect it and you connect it to your phone. So once the um, GoPro app is open, you just go over here and you can hit plus GoPro and it'll basically just automatically search. You hit connect to camera, click pair, and then you are good to go, that easy. And when you first turn it on, it automatically puts you in an easy mode. And the goal of this video is to get you guys off of that easy mode, because while it is pretty solid for just being as simple as it is, when you make a few little tweaks to your footage, it's gonna make your footage way, way better. So to turn that off, you're gonna wanna swipe down, Go to this main menu, come over here, and turn controls from easy to pro. And then there's just a couple other quick settings that you're gonna wanna go to. Um, so you're gonna hit preferences, come down here. And under video, instead of bitrate as standard, you're gonna wanna turn that on high. I don't know why GoPro has bitrate set to standard, maybe it's for storage purposes, but when you turn that to high, you're gonna get way more information in your videos. And then in bit depth, instead of 8-bit, you're gonna wanna do 8-bit and 10-bit. Basically, the difference between 8 and 10 is just 10-bit has way more color information, so your videos are just gonna look a lot better if they're shot in 10-bit. And with the new Hero 12, we finally have a log profile, which I'll talk about a little bit more when I get into the pro settings in a minute. But for now, I just wanna give you a normal profile for just when you're going out and shooting with family and friends, shooting random things, vlogging. This profile that I'm first gonna show you how to build is just for that. Either way, you're gonna wanna enable 10-bit. So coming back to the GoPro home screen, come into video and it basically has a bunch of presets. So you can set different presets um, depending on what you're shooting. So we're gonna come in here and just set the presets for this one. As far as profile goes, you're just gonna wanna stay on standard for now. And then we're gonna go into log when we get the pro settings. And aspect ratio is just basically whether you want a horizontal video, a vertical video, or use the whole sensor and be able to crop either vertically or horizontally in post. For now, we'll just stick with 16 by nine and go over the rest of these settings. So as far as resolution, 5.3K is a lot better than 4K. I know it doesn't sound like that much more, but it's a ton more resolution. So if you ever wanna crop into your videos and still have them be 4K, you're definitely gonna wanna shoot 5.3K. We'll go with 60, and that just gives you the ability to slow down your footage if you want. So if someone's running or you, you're chasing your dog or something and you want that in slow motion, you're gonna wanna have um, that 60 frames per second. As far as the lens goes, this is basically just how wide your image is. So on the tighter end, you have linear plus, which basically gives you a little bit more stabilization. Linear is a little bit less. Wide is usually where I like to stay because it's a good wide angle, but not too, too wide. Super view is even wider than that. And then hyper view is the widest lens. As far as hyper smooth, you're definitely gonna wanna leave that on for now. We'll talk about situations when you wanna turn that off in the future in the pro settings, but you're gonna wanna leave that on because that's your stabilization. All right, coming down to the protein settings, this is where you're gonna make some adjustments. So shutter, auto, EV comp, GoPros for some reason like to clip the highlights a little bit, which basically just means that it overexposes things a tiny little bit. So I've found putting this down just a tiny bit to 0.5 makes your footage look a lot more natural. White balance, we're gonna go with auto. GoPro does a great job at white balance. ISO min, 
100, ISO max 1600, that's totally fine for now. Sharpness, you're gonna wanna go down to low. And for some reason, you've probably noticed this, but action cameras in general give this weird like sharpened look and it just doesn't match with other cinema footage like the camera that I'm shooting this video on. So if you turn that down to low, it'll just look a lot more natural and you can always add sharpness in post, but you can't take it away. Color, you're gonna wanna go natural. Um, I'll talk about flat when we get into more pro settings, but flat is basically just when you want more flexibility in post to color grade. But for this preset, like I said, it's just kind of a general preset. And most people using this, you're not gonna wanna spend a ton of time color grading. Everything else is pretty easy. Shortcuts are basically just these little bubbles. So if I go back to the home screen, these little bubbles that you can just adjust settings while you're on the fly, you can just kind of pick whatever settings you want for that. But that's about it for this main profile. The only other thing I would say is this camera shoots really incredible slow motion. So if you do want to make a couple profiles with more slow motion, you can just go back, create a new profile, keep everything else the same but then just change this to 4K and you can shoot all the way up to 4K 120, which is basically slowing down your footage four times. And then if you go to 2.7K, you can shoot 2.7K 240, which is slowing your footage down eight times. Um, so I would recommend just making profiles for that if you're shooting something that would be really cool in slow motion, like sports, or you're like wakeboarding or biking and stuff like that. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the more pro settings and you're only gonna really wanna be shooting on these if you know you're gonna spend time post-processing your footage. So someone like me who's shooting FPV or if you're like attaching it to a motorcycle or a car and you're okay with spending a little bit more time in post color correcting, these are the pro settings that you're gonna wanna use. And the biggest change to this camera versus any other GoPro that has ever been made is the addition of a log profile, which is actually huge. Because with a log profile, you can have way more dynamic range so you can save all of the detail in your highlights and your shadows. It'll take a little bit more time to edit, but your results are gonna be way better. Okay, so I'm gonna hit create new profile, and this is gonna be a pro profile. But before we get into the pro settings, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, the like button. I don't have a sponsor for this video. Honestly, the majority of my videos are all self-funded. So if you guys could do me a massive favor and hit the like button, it would be really, really appreciated. And as a thank you, I will put a photo of the cutest baby penguin you've ever seen at the end of this video. <laughs> all right, let's get back into it. Okay, so like I said, the biggest thing with this camera is now having a log profile. So I'm gonna switch over to log. And for me, I always shoot in eight by seven because I don't know if I'm gonna use stuff for Instagram or YouTube. A lot of times I use them for both platforms. I'm gonna keep it at 5.3K 30, but if you wanna shoot 60 frames per second, if you wanna slow down things a little bit, you can go 4K 60. For now, I'm just gonna leave it at 5.3K just because it looks so good. The lens when you're shooting eight by seven always has to be wide because it's literally just the widest possible image. And as far as hypersmooth goes, usually you wanna have that on unless you are an FPV pilot. If you're flying FPV, you definitely wanna turn hypersmooth off because that's gonna allow you to use real steady in post, which if you do fly FPV, you already know FPV can be super shaky and hypersmooth does a great job of keeping things stable, but it's not perfect. Whereas if you turn hypersmooth off, and take the raw video, put it into real steady and stabilize in post, it's a much better, much more stable video. So if you're shooting FPV, turn hypersmooth off. If you aren't, then turn it on. Okay, getting into the pro tune settings for this pro profile, you're definitely gonna wanna set your shutter speed to double your frame rate. Basically, that's just kind of a rule in filmmaking. If you're shooting at 30 frames per second, you want your shutter speed to be one over 60. And if I just took this GoPro outside and started filming, I'd notice that everything is super, super bright. So when you are shooting with pro settings, you're gonna wanna get a set of ND filters, which are basically just these little filters that replace this little lens here that basically just balance your footage back to a normal exposure. I like to use Freewell filters, but Polar Pro also makes a really good set. As far as white balance, honestly, I usually just keep auto. GoPro does a really good job of keeping the right white balance. As far as ISO goes, because you're shooting in log, it just kind of locks it off at 100 to 400. And a little side note, log profiles don't work really well in low light. So if you are shooting in low light, I'd recommend going off of log and going back to standard because the ISO is limited. Sharpness, definitely gonna wanna pull that down to low to kind of make it better for matching cinema cameras like this. And then everything else is the exact exact same. So boom, new preset, you can kind of 
call it, whatever you want. And then you have your profile built. I just wanna stress once again that if you are shooting in low light, definitely turn off log function just because it does limit ISO. So go back to standard. All right guys, so that does it for the little walkthrough of the new Hero 12, plus all the best video settings. If you are interested in learning about any of the other modes like photo or time-lapse mode, definitely let me know in the comments down below and I can make videos about those. But if you're looking for stuff right now, I'm sure there's a bunch of other YouTube reviewers that are talking about that stuff. I just didn't wanna go into it because honestly, I don't use it that much, so I don't feel like I'm that much of an expert on it. But the video settings, I definitely use all the time. So now you should be up and running, ready to go film some awesome stuff with your new GoPro. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. But thank you for watching this video. As promised, here's a photo of a very, very, very cute penguin. <laughs> Peace.